Blah, 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 blah. Do I sound crazy? Don't forget to stay quiet on set. Quiet on set. Hello. This is not tasty. This is my personal kitchen. In light of recent events and the state of the world, all of us at Tasty are going to be working and cooking from home. So today I'm going to be reviewing some onion cutting gadgets that I found on the internet in order to make some foods that are going to hopefully tide myself and my roommates over for the coming weeks. And we'll see how they work. We'll see if they work and we'll see if they're worth buying. So without further ado, let's get started. Roll up my sleeves. All right, so the first gadget I'm going to be looking at today is a stainless steel onion holder. This is by a company called Nunes. Sort of looks like a, like a comb. So the idea is that it sort of gets your fingers out of the way so you're not in danger of cutting yourself while you're chopping onions. And I guess you can also use it as a way of cutting more precisely. So I'm going to be using this to help me cut up a bunch of yellow onions because I'm going to be making a whole batch of caramelized onions that I can use on sandwiches and breakfast and a whole variety of things. So for frame of reference, I'm going to chop just one yellow onion to start. It's not sliding away from me. It's not moving around the cutting board. I'm not having that hard of a time. So I don't know how much better this is going to make it. So we have our control onion here. So now I'm going to try out the onion holder and see if it makes it any easier. The first thing I'm gonna try is I'm just gonna spear it, I think like here, and then see. Using it strictly as a holder didn't make it any easier to be quite honest. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try now flip it around and use the teeth of the onion holder to kind of act as my guide. Okay, I get it. This is cool. By using it as a guide and cutting all along, it holds all of my pieces together. So I've got my entire chopped onion right here and all I can do is ideally just go. So using it as a guide is obviously the better way. So let's just kind of blaze through the last bits of these onions. And I can time lapse through this. And that is five large yellow onions sliced up in a matter of minutes. Do I think this is an absolute necessity? No, but this is a really good way of kind of ensuring that everything is uniform. So with that being said, I'm gonna set these guys aside and move on to my next test. So the next little gadget I'm going to be looking at is this. It is a set of onion goggles. Now, I'm the kind of person that tears up when I cut onions. It's kind of amazing how I didn't tear up cutting all of those guys right there. And I'm gonna see if these actually work. I'm going to be making a batch of pickled red onions that I can use on sandwiches. I'll use them on breakfast bowls. I love pickled red onions because they keep well in the refrigerator. I'm willing to remove my glasses and I can't see. So this will be uh, risky. These feel like swim goggles. So there is a little bit of foam around the outsides that I think is meant to keep out that onion odor. Let's give these guys a shot, see if I cry. One onion, no tears. Two onions, no tears. So besides the whole not being able to see thing because I have terrible eyes, this is actually working well. Last one. Don't fail me now, goggles. I'm not gonna call these the most fashionable, but honestly, they work pretty well. I got two whole red onions here. I'm not crying. If you have a pair of swim goggles, you can easily repurpose those to work as these. But if you don't, these are a great way to get around that whole crying issue. So before I move on to my final gadget, let's get these onions caramelizing and these onions pickling, and we'll be back at it. Some butter in there, got a little olive oil soften up and reduce a little bit. So I've got a mixture of apple cider vinegar and water with about a tablespoon of sugar, salt, some peppercorns, garlic. So I'm gonna bring this up to a boil and then I'm gonna pour it over my onions. Alrighty, so my yellow onions have been caramelized and my red onions are pickling in the fridge, which brings me to my last onion gadget I'm gonna be testing today. This is the Muller Onion Chopper Pro. It's sort of a chopper and containing device all in one. So you don't have to worry about all those onion odors going everywhere. You don't have to worry about cutting your fingers at all. So I'm going to be making a tomato jam with this. I love putting tomato jam on everything. It goes great on sandwiches, toast and eggs in the morning. Tomato jam keeps really, really well in the fridge. Now the packaging for this not only shows onions, but it shows a variety of other vegetables. So I'm going to test it out on a red onion and I'm also going to test it out on a bunch of tomatoes that I've washed. So first things first, I'm actually going to set this guy aside, chop my onion in half just to make it a little bit more manageable. I'm using the smaller blade size for the onions just because I want them to be really fine. And then for the tomatoes, I'm going to go with the larger blade. Take my onion, place it right on top and 
That takes like a fraction of the time it would take to normally chop something. Empty this into a bowl here. It's really easy to kind of swap out the insides. So you pop this locking mechanism here. You take this guy out. And then for my tomatoes, I'm gonna go with a thicker blade. Let's pop that guy in and you're good to go. I'm actually going to cut my tomatoes into more manageable chunks. Okay. Now I'm gonna place my tomatoes on there and press. And there you have it. That is the Muller Onion Chopper Pro. I'm pretty impressed with it. It's definitely faster than using a knife. My tomatoes look great. Everything looks really, really well chopped. So all I have to do at this point is put together my tomato jam and that's all my onion gadgets done. I'm going to add my tomatoes, brown sugar, salt, cumin, coriander, and red pepper flake. And then finally the juice of one lemon. And I'm just gonna let that simmer for a few hours until it's nice and thick. And there you have it. I have my pickled red onions, my caramelized yellow onions, and my tomato jam that I made using my three onion chopping gadgets. Overall impressions, do I think you need any of these? Not really. I think the biggest game changer for me was the goggles, just because it took what is usually the biggest problem about cutting onions and did away with it. Can you get away with using a pair of swim goggles? Yeah, plus you get more use out of it. When it comes to the two chopping gadgets, I'm a little bit on the fence. The onion holder is great. It definitely makes sort of chopping the same uniform looking pieces super, super easy. But I also feel like with practice, you really don't need this. Finally, the Muller Onion Chopper Pro. It is really, really handy and it is really, really fast. It's also really, really bulky. Plus this only allows you to cut two different sizes of vegetables and there's more components to clean than with a single knife. So at the end of the day, how much time are you actually saving? Overall, I'm just happy that these gadgets performed. Hopefully these will tide my roommates and I over for a few weeks. Now, if you're interested in getting these gadgets for yourself, we have affiliate links below, as well as links to all the recipes. If there's any gadgets you want us to test out, let us know in the comment section below. And until then, see ya.